Hello Mennonites, this is Michael and I want to talk about radical Christian resistance in an age of fascism. So we here in Europe were mostly very disturbed by the outcome of the American election. Me and my girlfriend were um, quite um, disillusioned <laughs> that morning and were thinking, well, now, now, you know, the climate definitely will kill hundreds of millions of people. What do we do now? <laughs> Why? Why do we study <laughs> climate leadership and sustainability when we can pretty much be sure now, if not God intervenes, that there will be a climate catastrophe. Um, and you know, we were thinking about the potential for wars. I think actually in a sense it's good that Trump likes Putin, because <laughs> if he hated Putin we would be in a, in a chaotic situation, but for one thing that could change, I think. I think that they could mash together and you know there are other problems with his rhetoric concerning um, China and ISIS and Iran and what have you so there is a, a risk for nuclear war but I also think that there there is this huge risk of a fascist Europe see I, I think that this fascist wave that we observe now filled with racism and bigotry um, originated here in Europe. It has spread on very effectively to other Western countries as well and even some countries outside of the white <laughs> community like in the Philippines. Um, but I think it will worsen even more here in Europe and I, I, I definitely don't rule out that we will have uh, you know another World War II scenario and another um, genocide. So what should we Christians do? Well, we shouldn't despair. It's natural to get this sense of, oh, everything is lost, but it isn't. Jesus is Lord. And constantly throughout history, even though there have been so many dictators and so many warmongers, the people of God um, have always tried uh, to stand up for the good. There have been several people who have claimed to be Christians who weren't as good at it, but those who genuinely, passionately love Jesus, I think, always tries to, to work for the better. And I think that we, we should, uh, in the light of the upcoming climate catastrophe, really um, give everything to, to establish sustainable communities. The time is here. We, we need to see a revolution among Christians living radically sustainable, uh, sustainable and, and simple. Um, to show the world this is how we ought to do. Even if we won't be able to, to save the whole world, people will still die. But I think we can save lives and every life that we save is, is valuable, right? And I also think that we know when observing this fascist awakening that people change their minds. 10 years ago or 15 years ago, people didn't think like this, you know. Islamophobia was hardly a thing before 9-11. And people have changed their mind. It, it, it's not uh, as some are, are proposing that, you know, this is what people in general have always felt, you know. Normal people outside of the liberal elite really like Trump. No, they didn't. I mean, Trump got less support than both uh, John McCain and Mitt Romney <laughs> got. Um, so, so that's not the case. But what we do see is that people have shifted and racism has become more acceptable. And that's a bad thing, but it's good to realize that people's minds are changeable and adaptable. And it is possible to proclaim the gospel. We just need to do it. We need to evangelize. We need to speak the truth about Christ, about his death on the cross, his sacrificial love and the peace that he brings. Because I, I think that 
you know, in, in the darkest time, the light shines its brightest. And this is horrible what's going on, but it's an amazing opportunity as well. And as the devil shows his ugly face, I think more and more people will long for and see the beauty of Christ and run to him instead. And we should do everything we can to represent that. Thank you and God bless you.